Hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, Michelle Walter Does Art or whatever my channel is called at the moment. Um, I am doing something new to me today, inspired or literally <laughs> kind of copying the uh, Massey Art Studios uh, recent videos they posted. I'm going to do a grenade flip cup um, on a 12, uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas. Grenade, uh, I'll just show you um, before I layer the paints, uh, but it is kind of like a flip cup basically. It is a flip cup with a little extra thing to it. And here's the paints. I haven't mixed them up yet. Uh, it's kind of a wacky uh, arrangement of colors. So I'm going to do Arteza Pearl Lilac. Holbein Mauve is a kind of a heavy body um, color that I really love. A new color I just bought at Michael's is Liquitex uh, Prism Violet. Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. I hope I don't make yellow and then hate it and have so much of it like I did <laughs> recently. Um, and Pebeo Studios Iridescent Green Blue and Liquitex Ultramarine Blue. I have a little bit of uh, copper left over. This is golden, iridescent copper fine. Uh, for my kind of metallic, so I'll have two iridescent or pearls and a metallic and then white uh, to start. So this is a lot of colors. I calculated uh, on uh, Olga Solby's website for this type of canyon, so you need at least 14.2 ounces of paint. So I need to round up a little bit to make sure I have enough to cover the edges and, and have enough to work with. And so I'm going to do about three ounces of each. These are 100 milliliter, my 100 milliliter cups. So that's about four ounces. So I'm going to do them two uh, three fourths full and then I will layer my paints and flip it and uh, we'll see. I will, I'm going to go make my paints now. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got all my paints mixed up. I didn't bother to let them sit very long, so they're gonna have bubbles, but I will live with that. So I've got my canvas here. I don't really ever show this, but on a bigger canvas, I make sure it's level. It's gonna be hard to see that on here, but um, sometimes it gets a little wobbly. This table's really sturdy though, so I usually don't have a problem. If my paint falls off my canvas while it's drying, it's because I put it on my drying rack, which I can't really get perfectly uh, flat. So this is the grenade that I'm doing. So it's basically a flip cup in, uh, but you put like a tack in, so there's a hole there. And once I flip it over, I'll take the pin out and then the kind of suction will release and it will push the paint out and then the paint will, the couple kind of pop up and float around. And then the other thing that uh, Jeremy from uh, the Massey Boys does is, uh, I haven't done before, they call it lipping. Uh, you like swipe the lip through the paint because sometimes a, a flip cup just gets really uh, basic and the paint's kind of, unless you put silicone in to get cells, Sometimes one color really dominates and it's not as very exciting. So I think by swirling the paint around, you get a more combination of paints. The other thing is I usually kind of layer them by sliding them down the side of the cup and it makes nice even layers, which is very important for a ring pour because you want the, the paints to stay separate. But this one is for a uh, flip cup, they, they show doing a kind of a dirty pour so to mix the colors more. I don't think I'm gonna do it as extreme as them, but uh, this is definitely different than I usually do it. So I've got a lot of cadmium yellow light blue. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do lots of layers. So this will kind of just, just kind of pour it like that. And then this is ultramarine blue. So this will probably make green, but whatever. I'm gonna do at least two layers. And here's my first metallic or only metallic um, copper, like golden. I changed my purple. I actually switched from the prism violet, which was new. I wanted to use it, but it's a little light. So I'm 
I switched to dioxazine purple. And then Arteza Pearl Lilac. Ooh, those are mixing a lot. Maybe I made these too thin. Hopefully, hopefully it looks okay and doesn't just become mud. This was Pebio. I just forget this is iridescent green blue. And then uh, my Holbein mauve, I added some white to because I wanted more of a magenta. So that kind of ended up magenta, but I thought it was too close to the prism violet. Okay, I'm going to do same colors. <laughs> They're already mixing. That's going to look weird. should have been thick like that. Well, learn your lessons. And then you try again. If your paint's too thin, the only thing you can do is add more of the base color or your, your paint color. And So the other thing is doing, what's this called? Yeah, your base paint. Where's my wet water? I was gonna thin this out just a wee bit, I think. with me. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Here goes nothing. You gotta do a quick flip. And then take this out. Okay, it didn't flip out or leak out as much as I thought. There is that hole in the top, so now I'm gonna tip it and swirl it. So never done that before. I'm nervous. Oh, there it goes. This is a little bit like a um, open cup pour, which I've thought about doing another one um, at some point. But that kind of looks cool. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> There's my head. Okay, I'm gonna tip it. I never know which way is the best way to tip it because the paint will go out the other way. I'm gonna go this way. And then... Hmm. See that copper obviously is a very <laughs> reddish, brassy color lots of bubbles. I'll pop those when I'm done. Hmm. I don't hate it. So let's see. I've been really doing a lot of Dutch pours because I kind of, I don't say they're easy, but I've done them enough and I have the paints mixed that it's just kind of easy to do one. Just bake your base paint, prep your canvas, Throw your paint down, blow it out. And I really like doing the hair dryer stuff. Now, hmm, this is different, isn't it? Lots of purple. Well, I do love purple. Can't deny it. That's my favorite color. There's that. And it looks like a octopus, like tentacles. Hmm. So, Purple and uh, yellow or gold are the colors of the local football team here. Lots of my friends are fans. <laughs> it's just hard to mix purple and gold. They kind of make a mess. 
Okay, I love, look at this. I love this turk, the teal or the aquamarine over there, or the, I guess it's the Pebeo blue green. So I'm going to tilt this off the bottom to try not to lose that. And then come back to this corner that's still dry. Okay, pull it back. <laughs> this canvas is about as it's pretty big for my table. Because I tilted it over white, these are kind of, sometimes they call them cloud, cloud pores over here. And then there's a lot of white there. Can I get rid of that? I don't love that. Let's see, but sometimes you stretch it too much and you lose the stuff you like. almost like a stone, like granite. That's cool. Okay, definitely glad I swirled it to get the lines. Now I'm gonna clean up my sides. Excuse my head. Jolly, not many bubbles. sides better. Didn't make enough white. Got a little left. Well, this could look really cool. Assuming it dries looking like this. So, ooh, this is really melty, messy, messy. I like to look inside the cup sometimes. Here's the wet view from my perspective. It looks better with the light turned on, I think. <laughs> I turned it off, otherwise all you get is glare. So you get a lot of the unintentional pearls over here. This is the, oh, I'm losing a lot of the that teal aquamarine color. Darn. I don't know if it was a mistake to put the copper in. It's really reacting strongly. Man, this part's cool. Well, like I said, it's an experiment with random colors. I'm taking risks with colors, that's for sure. You never know what you're gonna get. So let me know what you think. This is how the painting turned out. Uh, it's almost dry or close enough. Pretty different. I'd say uh, we got a lot more of these white cells or sometimes called pearls popping up because of where I use the white paint as my flow extender. Not sure uh, if the paint was too thin or too thick. Maybe too thin to get to have that happen. It always happens when the colored paint flows on top of the flow extender and then the flow extender pops up through it. So didn't do that quite right because this wasn't the look I was going for. Um, kind of cool, like it's a little shimmery in the middle. You can see the copper paint, it's got a sheen to it. And then I think this is that iridescent turquoise, or not turquoise, green blue or something like that. So it's kind of crazy. If you're one of those people who hates little dots and holes, you're not gonna like it. But it's a very unique color combination, and uh, I think I'm gonna varnish it. Ooh, over here, the paint tipped off the edge. I didn't notice that. Hmm. That kind of ruins that side, but I don't think it looks that bad. So I wonder if I had too much paint on this. So maybe I'll try the grenade flip cup again someday, learn my lesson, and do a different color scheme. So. Let me know what you think. There's so many things to look at on here. I love the cells where the all different colors. 